Hello Barley Close. I thought I would show you how to make some really easy flapjacks today. It's been raining on and off, it's not quite so sunny, so today's quite a good day to do some baking. Before we start, there are a couple of things we need to do. And if, like me, you've got long hair, you will need to tie your hair back. Right, I need to go and find a hairband. I will be back in a moment. Hairband blanket located. Time to put hair in a ponytail, ready to do some cooking. You'll need some soap. You need to give your hands a really, really good wash and there's some nice warm water, just as we do for keeping ourselves safe, but it's very important, especially when we're cooking. So Barley Close, for our flapjacks, this is what you're going to need. You will need today, the following ingredients. You will need some jumbo oats, some golden syrup, and some butter. So it really is very easy. As well as ingredients, you will need some equipment. The equipment you will need are some kitchen scales, a large mixing bowl, and there's two other things we need. A wooden spoon for mixing. And a spoon for getting out the oats out of the packet. Okay, right, so here we go. Step one is to weigh 250 grams of oats. I will show you those. There's my scales. I need to make sure I have 250 grams of oats. There we go, 250 grams of oats. I'm going to pour them into my mixing bowl. Thing I need is 125 grams of butter. So again, I have my scales. My butter's very hard because it's just come out of the fridge. Usually a better idea to use some softer butter. That's 50 grams. I'm chopping my butter into little little bits to make it easier for me when I start mixing things. Oh, spot on, 125 grams. There you go, 125 grams of butter. Okay, let's put that into the mixing bowl with the oats. Okay, so I've added the butter and the oats together and I'm gonna give them a good mix. So they're all really mixed together and they become quite a squidgy mess. There we go. Right. And now for the final ingredient. As I said, there's only three. Oats, butter and my favourite, which is the golden syrup. Now, depending on how syrupy and how squidgy you like your flapjacks to be, you can put one or two spoonfuls if you don't like them to be too sweet but if you like them really sticky and gooey you can add three or even four so I've got my big tablespoon here we go one two three and that was a little bit more than three really because they were very big gooey spoonfuls and then the best bit is you can lick the spoon before you wash it up. There you go, into the washing up bowl. And they give everything a good mix up. Now the final thing, before we put it into the oven, is to put it into a bowl. So I've got a large square dish. You can either line it with baking uh, paper, or you can use the inside of your butter packaging to make sure 
sure that it's not going to stick to the outside. And then once it's all mixed together, put your flapjack mix into the bowl and spread it out. So as you can see, I'm going to press it down into the bowl and then I'm going to bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So I've already put my oven on to 190 degrees and we'll check in and see what they're like at the end. Final result, delicious. All I need now is somebody to make me a nice cup of tea.